All right, hello folks. Kaylee and I are going out to get our hair done, but when we were on our way, or starting on our way, um, my hairstylist said, can I get a little bit more time? On I'm on a Zoom study meeting. <laughs> So I think Where's... she's going back to school. I don't know where the, it might be over there. She's like, I need like an extra hour. So we kind of have some time to kill right now. One of Jason's little tasks this morning was to come and get squeaky cheese from Cache Valley Cheese here in our little town of Cache Valley. Oh, I bet it's right there. So we're gonna do that really quick. Mm -hmm. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights All right, talk to us about squeaky cheese. I don't know what it is, but it's this little cheese stuff. It's and regular curd cheese. And the reason we call it squeaky cheese is because if, yeah. if you heat it up or you just eat it as you bite into it, it kind of squeaks. <laughs> but if you take it and you nuke so it up, weird. it turns in, it's like, it's like... You like it warmed up? Oh, dude. We're gonna have to do a taste test thing, show you something like that. You're it's... getting three of them? Oh, I don't know. I just... Grandpa wants one. Right. And then we'll just get one. Get the other two. Right. You don't need two. <laughs> we can't get this stuff. Uh, I know, but we also have to keep it cold for the next. Uh, I don't know. Whatever you want. I don't think we'll eat it that much. Oh, he's so sad. <laughs> I grew up coming here with my grandpa. He would take some of the kids and we would come here and you'd go in there. I didn't show you guys, but there's like a little, I think it was probably bigger when we were little, but they had like an ice cream counter. That's usually how it works. That's when you're little, it's bigger. The counter was bigger. <laughs> Schmuck. <laughs> Schmuck is one step away from douche, just in case you needed to know as a forewarning. Anyway, my grandpa would bring us and we would watch them make the cheese and we would do a little tour of the cheese factory and then he would get us ice cream, which is freshly made here at the dairy. And then uh, we'd sit and eat it in a cute little diner area. And then he'd take us home and it was just like the highlight of our day. And my mom loved it because a couple kids got out of the house. <laughs> and now I understand what that is. So anyway, got some cheese. We bought some Bluebirds chocolates from here, but anyway, Bluebird makes their own chocolates. They just sell them here. We got some of those for all of our employees. And then Kaylee, what did you get him? Uh, Wanna show him? That's in there. It's like rock Utah candy. rocks and worms. <laughs> it's candy rocks and gummy worms. Just something fun to give her boyfriend as a little souvenir gift from Utah. Um, so now we have another, just under an hour to kill before we, we go, go to the grocery stores out here to get the oh we can go and get the meclizine yeah it's, there's more stores we need meclizine for what we're about to do but i'm not going to tell you what that is oh oh we're keeping this all on the down low all right okay yeah it's fun yeah I'm it's excited. fun it's fun you're probably from the know from the title of the video unless i keep that a secret but for oh, right well, now come on that's stupid i don't know <laughs> no i'll help you out with that we will help you out with that all right Next up is to go find some Meclizine because we're going to need it here in the car. Turns out my hair, hairdresser is ready, but um, I don't know, like I drive out here to go to her house, but I don't know the address because <laughs> I've just been driving out here forever, kind of out here in the country. And uh, Jason's like, well, where did I turn left? And I was like, I was like, I don't know. Like it's like this little shack looking bench bus stops thing on the side of the road. <laughs> That's where you turn left. I don't know, it's just, I can visualize it and I don't know the street name, so. It sounds like a country direction. Country directions, turn directions. left at the. The big tree. Yeah. Go to Wilbur's barn. <laughs> it's not that bad, not that bad. But we're gonna go get our hair done. This dark color, I'm gonna chop. And you're doing low lights, right? Yeah. Framing your face and just a little trim. Low lights? How's that different than highlights? It's, it's a lower color and versus a like a so bright like color. It's, more of it's okay, you don't need to worry. It's all good. I'll show you. See, look, there's the bus stop. I told you, it's a little shacky looking bus stop. And that's how I knew where to turn left. I was right. All right, you guys have fun. 
I'll be transformed when you see me next. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay. I am blonde again. You saw Kaylee getting hers done. Um, she just nice. got low lights. We'll show it more when it's dry. Still kind of drying. Jason showed up with the kids as just as she was getting finished. But um, so and good. also with my hair here, let me turn down the air for just a second. Um, when I, Utah air is so dry that I get tons of volume. Look, look at this. I can poof my hair up. That's why Utah poof is like a thing because it's so dry here. Look how much volume I can get just like touching my hair. As soon as I get back to Seattle, it'll be like it'll be flat again, and it's a little bit shorter than I wanted, but. I, my hair grows so fast that it's not going to be a big deal and the volume is kind of taking up some of the length it's kind of poof up more than it would be back at home so you like it jace yeah it looks really good thank you okay so you'll notice that everyone's here with us and we have stuff in the car so we kind of have fun new news to share we made a decision yesterday really kind of the night before we're gonna get on the road we're gonna leave um, we had not anything happen with my family. It's just the di dynamics have changed and the cousins are all gone and parents are all working and there's no one for us to hang out with for a majority of our days. And you, if you have seen, we've kind of just done one like activity in the afternoon and then we go to dinner because that's when we get together with my sister and it just became a little boring. And so we are going to get on the road. Jason, you want to tell them where we're going? going to the big town of Reno <laughs> we're gonna drive over to Reno Nevada and then we have a hotel there for two nights and we're gonna go look at Lake Tahoe and kind of explore around there for we can kind of go back and forth between Reno and there and we're gonna do that and then we're just gonna start driving we're kind of being spontaneous and um, from Reno it's kind of a 12-hour drive to get home just like it is if we were to be here in Logan and go home and we're kind of just gonna take a couple days and either explore as we head directly north or we might go somewhere totally different and new and maybe we should leave that a secret and all of find this out is new, all really of it's new we don't know where we're going and so we're just gonna take you guys along and we're just we're on the road Jason and I packed up the car last night and he finished it this morning We've got all of our stuff back in the car. I've got my little road bag down here and the kids are back here. Some of them don't want to be filmed. Kaylee, you want to show your hair a little yeah, bit? It's not dry. But... not dry, but it's really cute. And um, we're just going to go and explore. It's going to be quite fun. So we're going to take you along. I'm not used to seeing myself with blonde hair again. That's very strange, but this is what I wanted and this is why I get it done from her because she knows how I like it and it's great. And it'll look, look better when I have makeup on. So it's just too hot, too hot here to put makeup on. You ready to go? I'm going. You're going. I'm driving, you're smiling, just really doing nothing. That's the thing I like about you. Mm. On the highway, it's our way, Route 66, and we keep on driving. Just do what we wanna do, yeah. No, nothing's complicated with you. Hey, we're playing songs on the radio, sing along to the words that we don't know how. That make you nervous? <laughs> I knew I wasn't going that far, that fast. Lucky man. <laughs> Well, we had a little bit of a scare just now. We are, where are we at? Do we know? Um, I don't know. I don't, we're in Nevada somewhere, middle of nowhere. Like, you can see there's nothing here. It's kind of been the case all along. We are in downtown Battle Mountain. Battle Mountain. Downtown's <laughs> a big word to use. It's a very big word to use in Nevada. But we just had a um, morning light go on on our car. Let me turn this down real quick. No, we're not getting food. What was it called? A mission system problem. Yeah. Light came on our car, and then there was a check engine light for a second. 
Yeah. Wasn't there? Well, yeah, there's a check engine light. I'm there for a second, it's a transmission problem. Oh, the transmission, yeah. It's really worried me. Right. So we pulled over, stopped the car, turned it off, checked the transmission fluid, and it was fine, right? Well, we did we check. I checked the oil, but I don't know where the transmission dipstick is. Well, we'll find it, but anyway, we've looked it up, and um, thankful for Google. Um, it's just that our emissions system is there's faulty. Sensor. There's a sensor in it. There's a sensor going out, so it dumps either too little or not enough oxygen, not enough fuel. And then what's showing is that it then doesn't burn it up, so our exhaust is, uh, whatever, not EPA friendly. Right. So, like, if we were to get an emission test to get our car registered, we would fail. Probably. Right. But it doesn't mean that we can't drive it. Yeah, and it says it's fine to drive. And it says if you're driving for 100 miles or more, it actually will recalibrate. Recalibrate. So. So it sounds like we have a fuel sensor that's going out. But it also, like, Ejection. makes sense. It also makes sense because as we've been going up in elevation and going up and down some really steep hills, like, we've been going up to 6,000 feet and then down to 4,000 feet and then up to 6,000 feet. Um, even going to Bear Lake, you know, a couple days ago, it was really running really high. It was revving really, really high when we were going uphill and really like pushing the car. And we kind of just assumed it was the high elevation because we have only had this car at low elevation. And it really wasn't dri driven very much before we got it. Um, so we kind of thought that, that was what it was, but now it's making more sense that it was this emissions yeah, problem. Yeah, there's an injector, injector sensor, injectors are going. Yeah. Uh, but it's 75,000 miles, it might make sense. Yeah, it said it needed to be fixed at 60,000 miles. So we're just a little bit beyond that. So we'll take care of that when we get home, unless we have a bigger problem. Maybe we could do four, two numbers. Yeah. We'll Anywho, got a, we are 51 miles out of, at, outside of Winnemucca. Winnemucca. Can you say that? Um, we still have a long ways to go. What's that, <laughs> that camp on that show? Camp Winnemucca. Isn't it? No. Oh. Oh, Camp Kiki, Kiki Waka. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Kiki Waka. Anyway, we're having, well, we're not having, I mean, we're, it's whatever it is. It's not fun. It's just we're sitting in the car and there's nothing to see, but we're excited for the places that we're going to. It's kind of a little bit of a journey to get where we're going. A little further than maybe. Yeah, but from here on out, the only driving that we have to do gets us closer to home. So it's just an adventure to go home at that point. So we just have a lot of driving today, seeing absolutely nothing. Do you want to see? Still, that's why I haven't really added much footage because this is all we see. Like all we see is, <laughs> sometimes we get closer to those mountains and sometimes we don't. There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed Cause baby, I got you, 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 you I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby, I got you Alright, we finally found our room There's construction, so it was a little crazy trying to find our room Very crazy Yeah, but we found it Oh, there's should we show them our bathroom first? Yeah. It's kind of fancy. This is the remodeled side of the hotel. And it's pretty nice in there. Right? It's a nice little shower. And then in here. So we have two rooms. We had to get two rooms. So we have one adult and then two kids in here. And then Kaylee and Abby have a room with probably Jason literally right next door. But we don't have a connecting door. Um, we connect. I don't know why they did this. This connects to the wrong side. So I was hoping we would get room connecting that way, but we didn't. So, hey. hey. So I got ice for them. Oh, can you? Yeah, for us. Mm. Sure. I just got them situated. Okay. And ooh, we have a fridge, so we can put some of our stuff in the fridge. I'll do that. Okay. Thank you. We have like the squeaky cheese. You can put the ice packs in the freezer. Right? You can put your nuggets, leftover nuggets in the fridge and we can eat, microwave them later because there's a microwave right there, which is nice. All right, we went over to Denny's, got us some takeout. 
got our pancakes. And what did you get, Ashley? Um, you, ooh, she got a crepe. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that looks so big, is it? And she got some hash browns and bacon and eggs. That looks really good. And they've got this little rollout table that you can sit at, Chelsea, which is perfect. This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you